All right, I'm in this pond that's uh, surrounded by pine trees here. Kind of a smallish pond, but there's a ton of pine needles always in it and a lot of tannins, so the water stays pretty dark. Just using a tiny, I think it's a 32nd ounce jig head with a live worm on kind of a dropper rig with like a three quarter ounce weight, maybe a half ounce weight. And I'm using the Ozark Trail telescopic spinning rod with an Abu Garcia uh, Red Max reel. So I'm just gonna throw that worm out and just kind of wait that uh, weight, the uh, heavy one, not the time one, is uh, kind of heavy for a pond, especially a pond like this, but that's just what I had on there when I left the house and I didn't use a dropper knot, you know, where I could take the weight off. I would have had to retie it and I just didn't feel like doing it. Oh, so yeah. So I was, what I was gonna say was I needed to wait for a fish to actually take off with that worm because if I'm just messing with little bites and stuff, what would happen is um, they would probably wouldn't get hooked. This is a pretty decent sized bluegill and the fish in this pond are typically pretty, pretty dark colored. He's no exception. Dark colored bluegill on that live worm. 